The castor bean, Ricinus communis, is an oil-rich plant originating from the Ethiopian region of East Africa. We will be looking at the processing and handling of the seed of the castor plant. The castor plant ranges from 6 to 15 feet in height depending on variety. It is best suited for wa dry, warm, frost-free regions with a growing season of 140 to 180 days. Each pod on the plant contains three seeds, each with an oil content of 50%. Yields can be as high as 1,000 liters per acre. Harvesting can be done in two ways, either by hand, selecting only the right pods, or by machine. Harvesting by hand is used in poor areas, whereas harvesting by machine is popular where the castor bean has been commercialized. The crop is ready for harvest when all the pods are dry and the leaves have fallen off the plant. The castor bean is greatly versatile with over 700 uses. These involve the medicine, petroleum, and clothing industries. The main product of the castor seed is the oil. The first step in extraction is pre-pressing using a high pressure continuous screw press. Extracted oil is filtered and then collected in a settling tank. Material filtered out is then added to the original material to be pressed again. Material discharged or meal from the pre-pressing is then crushed and subjected to solvent extraction with hexane or heptane. Castor oil contains vitamin E, which is needed to maintain healthy skin and hair. It is used in many skin creams and anti-aging products and shampoos to help keep the skin and hair looking young and healthy. Castor oil also contains omega-6 essential fatty acids. These need to be consumed as the human body doesn't produce them internally. They are beneficial in helping with high blood pressure and keeping the heart healthy. Castor oil can be used as a substitute to conventional lubricants. It has a superior ability to lubricate at higher temperatures making it a better option for high performance engines such as race cars, motorcycles, and planes. Castor oil is the primary material in producing sebacic acid. This is the main ingredient for the production of nylon and other synthetic fibers. It takes three tons of castor oil to make one ton of nylon. The castor meal contains a protein called ricin. This protein is very deadly if consumed, but it can be utilized in cancer research. Combining ricin and monoclonal antibodies, the toxin can be carried to the site of the cancerous tumor and destroy the tumor cells without damaging other cells of the patient. Overall, the castor bean is a good source of oil for tropical reasons. It can be used in many industries and provide income for poorer regions. With many varieties, it can also be commercialized or grown as an ornamental.